Hi guys, today I will show you how to make a real solenoid motor at home. The first step is to make a solenoid. For this we need a metal tube. Personally, I used part of the section from the radio antenna. And you also need two washers. We install these washers on the tube and fix it with glue. Next we need a thin insulated copper wire about 20 meters long and 3 tenths of a millimeter in diameter. We wind this wire in one direction on the solenoid body. Next, we will make the solenoid rod. To do this, we need a steel nail, of such a diameter that it moves freely inside the tube. First of all, we mark and cut out the necessary parts. Then we take the body from the handle, and cut out the necessary workpiece. We glue this blank onto the solenoid rod. Then we make a hole according to the marking. Then mark and cut a groove perpendicular to the hole. Then we need a block of wood. We fix the solenoid on this bar using plastic ties. Next, we will make a crank mechanism. For this we need thick copper wire. The first step is to remove the insulation and bend the wire into the following shape. Then we take another piece of the same copper wire. We will make a connecting rod from this piece of wire. To do this, bend small rings at the ends of the wire. Then we install the connecting rod to the crankshaft. Next we need a wooden base and two wooden support posts. The first step is to install the shaft in the support legs. And we fix the racks on the base. Next, we restrict the axial movement of the shaft. Then we install the flywheel. Then we install the solenoid. Then we determine the required position of the solenoid. And we fix the solenoid installation on the base. Next, we will make the control contacts of the motor from a thin copper wire. First of all, we make and we establish permanent contact. Then we establish an interrupting contact of the following form. This contact will supply electrical energy to the solenoid only at the right time.
Then we connect the solenoid to the contacts. At this point, the solenoid motor is made. Now let's get down to testing. That's all. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.